Hello Cancer, welcome to your weekly love reading for January the 21st through the 27th. I hope that you are doing absolutely amazing. Welcome to all my old and new subscribers. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please click down below and do so. We will be adding the Oracle of Visions Oracle deck to the lineup with 10,000 subscribers based upon your um, poll, voting poll on the community tab. All right, Cancer. We have the King of Cups representing your energy. The Ten of Swords in your feelings. The Nine of Swords in your expectations. The Lovers and the person that you're energetically connected to. Um, it represents them. Their feelings, we have the Ace of Wands. Their expectations, the Eight of Cups. The challenge is the Ten of Pentacles. The advice is the Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. And the um, possible outcome is the Tower. That's not enough. Three of Pentacles and the Moon. Their overall energy is moving forward into the future, leaving the past behind with the Six of Swords energy. Um, I kind of feel like Cancer, like you're leaving somebody behind. I, I, I could be wrong, but that's kind of what I'm seeing here. So regarding your energy, I'm seeing that uh, your energy is being represented by the King of Cups. The King of Cups, for some reason I'm feeling like our lighting is bad. Hopefully not. Okay, sorry about that, Cancer. The King of Cups is, is, there's a lot of love here, but you're holding back your emotions. You're not, you're not wanting to express how you feel to this other person. Um, the reason being is you're feeling like you're being attacked on all sides. I'm feeling like this is kind of a, a relationship in which, from a verbal perspective, somebody's not so nice, shall we say. <laughs> and, so it, if this does not resonate with you, you might want to just go watch your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign. See if you can gain some clarity there. But I'm feeling like with this energy of this Ten of Swords and how you're feeling about this person, I really feel like you feel like they verbally attack you. Um, I hope that they don't physically attack you. And if they do, please be sure to um, reach out to some domestic violence uh, violence hotlines. You don't have to be married to somebody to make that call. Um, but I feel like this is more of a kind of like somebody who's telling you that you're doing something wrong all the time or, um, you know, you're feeling like they're overanalyzing the connection to the point where, you know, when you talk to them, it's kind of like, you don't call me enough. You don't do this. You don't do that. Um, that sort of energy is what I'm feeling from this. Sorry. Kind of weird about that. Um, so I feel like like you're kind of feeling on the defensive and, and weak and as if you don't want to continue this connection. Now your expectations, we have the nine of swords. So you're expecting more of the same. You're expecting to have, you know, uh, mental struggles associated with this connection, losing sleep, kind of a little bit of worries and fears and anxieties, or you're expecting for them to, if you discuss this with them. Now for them, we have the lover's card. They feel like this is a very close bond. They may feel like it's a soulmate bond. Um, you know, if it is a soulmate bond, sometimes that comes with, you know, difficulties in, in order for us to learn from them and to make a change in our life. But they're feeling a, a, a very deep connection, um, the kind of connection where you want to be with your partner 24-7. And yet I'm feeling from you that you're wanting to get away from your partner. This person that you're energetically connected to, you don't need to be in a relationship with this person. Just have a, an energetic tie to them. The way they feel about you is the Ace of Wands. They feel like you're this bright new beginning, super passionate new beginning. You may have a very, um, you may have had a very heavy sexual relationship here. 
but they're feel they're feeling as if you're in, you're a fresh new start for them with this Ace of Wands. A very passionate new beginning here. What they're expecting is the Eight of Cups. They're expecting for you to walk away from a situation, whether that's the connection with them or a connection that you're currently in. Um, it's possible that you may be married. They're expecting you to walk away from somebody um, because this is their expectations of you. Or you could be, if you're not married, you could be in another relationship and they're expecting that you're going to walk away. Um, I'm seeing more cancer though, that there's a, there's a lot of mental energy here for you that's blocking this connection. Your challenge is actually getting to a point of, you know, a beautiful, harmonious relationship. Um, one that is stable, one that can withstand the tests of time. Um, that's your challenge, is getting to that point. I'd like to take some cards on that. Why is our Ten of Pentacles the challenge here? Why is the Ten of Pentacles... Cancer's challenge. Why is the Ten of Pentacles Cancer's challenge? Seven of Swords. Somebody's being deceptive in this connection. Um, if, how, if, however, you are in another relationship and this is this is somebody else um, the deception may be simply the deception to another towards another person that you're being deceptive about this relationship kind of keeping it hidden um, something associated with deception betrayal walking away from a situation is preventing it's preventing the possibility of building a strong, sal solid relationship here. Cancer, the advice that we got for you for this week is to work on you. We have this, this nine of pentacles, independent energy. Um, work on you, take time for yourself, work on your business, work on your, your job, work on your hobbies, um, but take time for you. It looks like mentally you need the break. And so, Take this time to reflect on the circumstances. What is it that you really want? Um, take some time to kind of look at that, but put yourself first this week, Cancer. Put yourself first. Now the potential outcome for this week, we have a tower. The tower is, you know, an unexpected change that comes along, tears down that foundation, so either you can rebuild or move on to something new. Um, I feel like there is the potential. We have the Three of Pentacles here, and I was getting a real heavy third-party energy. Um, it's possible that this is just simply stating that something that possibly that, that third party connection may come to light. So be prepared in case that comes out of nowhere that suddenly that's brought up to you. Um, there is going to be some confusion and anxiety this week. So also keep that in mind that this, this situation is going to cause some confusion. It may cause some fear too. It may be that they're in a third party relationship. That, that they have a, a second person that you're unaware of as well. So that could occur here also. But I do see, Cancer, that either way, whether you stay with this person or whether you're moving on to this person, you're going to be leaving the past hurts, the past struggles, the past trials behind you to move forward into the future. That's the overall theme here. I don't feel like you're going to be getting there this week, but I do see that that is coming down the road for you, Cancer. Let's take a couple... Romance Angels for you. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. That may be part of this, this mental struggle here. The two of you may be dealing with with a um, with a control dynamic, you know who's going to be the who's the dominant one in the relationship. The two of you may be having a lot of struggles because of that. You may both be very stubborn about that situation. And then we have calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Now this is calling in your soulmate. If you believe this person to be your soulmate, you are bringing them to you. But keep in mind that 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 does come with some learning experiences. If it's not this person, 
then you're working on bringing that person into your life at this time. So just keep that in mind as well, Cancer. I hope that you have an absolutely beautiful week. Um, definitely take time for you. Absolutely, positively take time for you this week, Cancer. And I will see you again later.